Hello, welcome to this Desperado tutorial video. It is a video on the Great Coat of Arms Relief STL file that you can download free of charge at the Desperado website. As we start by loading a geometry, you can see which relief it is. There are two versions, domed and flat. I used a flat one. Open, it's a 32 megabit uh, STL file and you can see what is flat if i take a front view and zoom in a bit then you can see that the banner here the ribbon i should say and also the shield here are flat surfaces horizontal surfaces and i use a flat one as this uh, instruction video is done using despoto light and uh, as I want to project a bitmap geometry and some text on the uh, on the services later, uh, Desproto Light cannot project text on a curved surface. That's why I need the version with a flat surface. As you can see, also the bottom is flat. That is easy fixturing. You can just attach it to a slab of board using double-sided tape or some screws from below. Or of course you can take a block of material that is thicker than the uh, geometry. Currently it's six and a half millimeter thick. Uh, okay, my block of wood is larger than this one. The block of material that I have is about 200 millimeters uh, in uh, X direction and the current one is 131 so I have to scale double click go to the transform tab and I have to scale with 200 divided by 131 is 1.52 scaling factor as you can see now it's 200 millimeters so 199 so it nicely fits in my block of material that's the scaling and in fact I've done everything needed uh, for the geometry to correctly machine it the cutter comes from the positive Z axis from here so it the orientation is okay size is okay uh, mirroring etc are not needed so we can proceed setting the machining parameters in the operation parameters Okay, the first one will be a roughing operation. I call it roughing. Uh, obviously, there is very fine detail. I can show you the detail in the relief. You the head of the fox. It's a fox. So you need to use a very small cutter. Uh, but obviously, you do not want to remove all material using this small cutter. So you start with roughing using a thicker cutter. And when roughing, you can leave a skin of material, half millimeter of material, all around the model to be removed during a finishing. Uh, I will go make the cutter go down seven millimeters maximum, then remove all material and then start the next layer. Those are the roughing settings. And obviously I can use a large distance between the toolpath and a large step size for roughing. So I now have set all my parameters. I can calculate toolpath using this button. And here are my roughing toolpath very quickly. You can see it goes down in two layers. First at minus seven, all materials removed. Then at minus, well, it won't be 14, but or something like that or material is removed that's about the roughing okay still too much material to be removed to go to my very small uh, finishing cutter so I'll insert a second operation uh, and I call that a semi finish yes okay uh, no roughing, only a different cutter needed. I want to use a three millimeter bull nose cutter. Here it is. And say I use three, three toolpath on each millimeter. Again, calculate toolpath takes a bit longer and you'll see it will turn out completely red. I zoom in a bit. You see the roughing toolpath and the semi finishing toolpath. And finally, obviously, third operation, which it will be the finishing. Here we are. And I want to use a one and a half millimeter cutter for that. 
one and half and very detailed toolpath, a 10 toolpath in every millimeter. That will take some time to calculate and it will also take some time to machine. However, it's absolutely worthwhile because this uh, relief asks for a very small cutter and very detailed uh, result. You can see the ambient area here is machined as well. Uh, with very many toolpaths here. Uh, that's something that cannot be changed in light. In Desperate or full version you can cause the other operation to skip that area. I'll just zoom in quickly here on the head of the fox. It's a fox and just make the other things roughing invisible by turning the light bulb off, semi-finish, invisible. Here we have the finishing toolpath for the small cutter. As you can see, all there are no vertical walls. All steep surfaces have a slope angle, a draft angle of 10 degrees. So do not fear for your thin cutter. It will come out okay. And there is no spot where a complete vertical surface needs to be machined in one go. Okay, back to my complete view. I can now, as a final step, export all toolpath and you can send them to the machine. Here is the workpiece zero point. So at minimum Y value, minimum X value and maximum Z value. So your workpiece zero points needs to be set at the left, front, top corner of the block of material. As said, last step is write and see program. I'll call it uh, relief. Uh, yeah, 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 no typing errors. Okay, and you can see it, uh, that it automatically splits up the resulting NC file in three parts. The roughing was very short. This is the number two part, and in a minute here we have the number three part, which is of course the longest NC file. That's because Desproto knows that the machine that I have selected doesn't have an automatic automatic tool changer. I have three operations with three different cutters, so three separate files will be made. Okay, this takes a bit long. I won't wait for that. I will. Uh, stop this first part of the tutorial and continue with the bitmap and the 2D stuff in the second lesson.